something that I'm always trying to capture is butterflies eating manure, which is what they seek out when they first emerge. And the thing is, they're very sparky when they first emerge because they want to stay alive. And here I'm managing to catch, you can see this butterfly is on the manure. And if I got around to the front, you could see its tongue is going in to eat it. Now this is dried manure. So normally they go for wet manure. But if I get too close, she might fly away. But they do this. As soon as they emerge, they eat manure. So they're ha she's having, she, he, I don't know, is having manure there. There's a fresh pile there. I have an image of her crawling off. It's not a video, an image of her crawling off a fresher pile of manure. And I had to, whoop, see, they're so quick. See, it's flown away. So it's, they, like all insects, or a lot of insects, go for fresh manure for the vitamins and minerals and high nutrition that is in it. So we need fresh manure in any locations where you want to have insect population to feed uh, the wildlife and to pollinate the flowers and things like that. So manure is a vital component. It's usually just when they've emerged from their chrysalis that they want the, because it's, it's, it's cost them a huge amount of energy to convert themselves from a caterpillar into a butterfly, to metamorphosize into the beautiful insect that they are. So manure is a very vital component and healthy manure at that without insecticides or herbicides or any of those kind of things. So the manure is a vital component and this pile of manure will be full of um, all kinds of insects. If I open it up, you can see there's, there's a fly thing there. There's already eggs from other insects. So there will be dung beetles. These holes that you see, those are all dung beetles. That's a hole that's perforated with dung beetle holes. So the door dung beetle hasn't come out yet. But if we go here, you can see where the manure has been scattered by birds. So the birds are feeding on the insects that are feeding on the manure. So like Rachel Carson, uh, annihilating parasitical worms in livestock does in the insect population. It's a silent spring because the birds then eat the insects that have eaten the uh, worm dose or parasite dose or poron dose that is on the animal that is grazing the land. So here you can see there's insects going in there. So these are, these are vital. There's, there's a beautiful copper dung beetle right there. Then let's see if there's any other ones. There's all kinds of, oh, there's a black one. Oh, there's one of the brassy bottomed ones. The brassy arsed beetle that I like to call it. Oh, he's disappeared in there. He's a water beetle, not a dung beetle actually. So you get flies, water beetles, dung beetles, uh, spiders, butterflies, moths, um, all kinds of insects seek their intense nutrient kick from fresh manure and the birds know it and scatter manure so you can see where the birds have been they've scattered the manure here so this is the pile of manure right here i have a photograph i'll put on the end of this video where the butterfly was right there you can see all the insects right there loads of them just hopping off so that's what has to feed the birds and you've got to feed the oh door dung beetles have arrived look at that that hole right there, that's door dung beetles have finally emerged from the soil and are now breeding. That's a sign that the breeding population has returned. They dig the deep hole down into the ground in the evenings. I thought I heard one buzzing me the other day. So I'm always excited. Up oh, here's another door dung beetle hole right there. The big hole. Yay! Door dung beetles have returned. I always worry when they're early or late. Yip, 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 yip. I'm a happy lady. Door dung beetles have returned. Yay! Every year one worries about when they're going to emerge and if they're going to emerge. 
particularly when local farmers are using huge amounts of worming doses and things. So, yay!